celebratory cup of tea. So we lost 544. That's not good. So, but we killed nearly 2,000 of their so that's four to one. Right. Okay, that's fine. We've broken the power of their troops there. Okay, and we're back. So we've got a spy in Bavaria. Oh, gosh. Looks like Mecklenburg. We got, did we get a spy in Mecklenburg or something? No, we certainly got a spy in Bavaria. Let's throw him down here so we can see what's going on. Greater Poland we got a spy as well, if I can find him. Oh, they spawn by the buildings, don't they? I'm forgetting that. I think they spawn. Okay, let's keep an eye on what's going on down here. Okay, we're at war with the Prussians. Um, the Austrians are kind of neutral at the moment. They don't really like us. I show the diplomatic screen. Um, they're only plus four at the moment. Um, State gift is 89, so they'd be very much against us if we were to um, take away the state gift. Russian Empire is basically the same position, so they're probably going to attack us fairly soon. Um, although saying that, they're just indifferent at the moment. It's very light green, as you can see. We're at war with um, Kingdom of Norway and Denmark. We need to um, finish this off fairly quickly, and the Prussians, so that we can then concentrate on um, really he's going off for a bit of a raid I think that guy okay let's um, want to resolve that we lost 400 <clears throat> I'm not going to put you through the thing of having to watch um, I think we've just taken this actually I think Okay, so we've got two armies here. Probably, probably move down towards the last Prussian territory, Hungary. Okay, goes over here. Has he got slightly better? Not really. Um, okay, let's move this army down to. Where should we move that down to? down to here because we need to reinforce this army with some cavalry and artillery and I think this is pretty much safe down here I think can't attack this unit because it's in Austrian territory so we're going to come down to here okay that's safe that's okay. Do a bit of scouting around. Look forward to here. I'll just look at these information bubbles so I can. General Townsend Walker is an aggressive attacker. Report, all these are in England. They're constructed. So I've got attrition. Where was that? Oh, that's probably over here when we took out Poland, I think. We did that. We didn't hang about. We just went for it. Um, okay, so we can move on to attack here. We've blockaded the, the remnants of their forces here. Okay, so they're replenishing. They're still replenishing slightly. Oh, we can probably probably push forwards here and destroy this this group. Let's repair. Or oh, actually, that's we we've got to repair it first, haven't we? Before we can make something else, which is a bit annoying. Um. We're we doing this. I think we're moving around to here, aren't we? I think. Oh no, maybe we're. Yeah, I think maybe we're collecting troops. Pretty certain we are. 
just looking for any elite troops we can now make. I think we're pretty much yeah, we've pretty much got all the elite troops we can make at the moment. Yeah, okay, let's move to here. Get on board. <clears throat> These guys are going to move round towards... What are we going to do? We're going to... Let's move to here. Move these guys back. Oh, that was weird. Mind you, having carronade frigates in as um, garrison, not garrison, as um, yeah, could probably do with slightly less less good troops, uh, less good navy. Um, like this guy could maybe move around here. Or maybe make more sense. Um, yeah, I think that probably makes more sense to do that, to be honest. Move this one back to here. Right. Okay, did we actually move all those guys around? We did. That was stupid. Mind you, we can always repair now. Okay, let's do that. Or that, let's do that. So I'm messing about here, aren't I? I'm just thinking it'd be better to repair these guys here. These guys are going to here. And this Carane frigate will join Nelson at um, Calais. Okay, so how are we fixed here regarding public order. That's on naught, so that's not too good. That's on naught, that's not too good. I can't really move troops out of there. Um, get rid of these guys. Okay. Um, we're around to do this. I think we're going to keep these guys here replenishing. We'll use this army to clean out these group. Victory. Forwards. Forwards. Let's move up here. Can these guys move? Normally they can't. If they've actually... Um, Yeah, if they've done some business like this, they can't actually move out. So we're going to flush out their navy. Um, yeah, hopefully Nelson will be there in time to help them out. And certainly bring the ship up here. The ship up here. Okay. I don't think I can actually enlist anymore, generals. We've got eight of eight now. So we can't actually enlist anymore. Right, that's fine. Let's see, we've got loads of money. So we're replenishing there. So we're replenishing there. Longer term, the aim is to move down into Italy. If the Austrians and Russians give us enough time. We need to try and attack these um, these countries down here. They're all they all pretty much hate us, so we're not going to really be causing any problems for um, us diplomatically. You might be able to drag the Austrians into war if that's the if they back up their Italian allies. <clears throat> well, I'm going to play this. I'm going to put at least three or four armies, or well, these three armies, in Hungary, so we can then strike out at the Austrian forces from both sides. Um, these cities here, Vienna and Olmitz, Zagreb, that won't leave them too much left to be honest. Basically do a kind of knockout blow on them, although they're saying that they've got Istanbul right over here, so that'd be, that'd be the best thing to do, try and do a knockout blow on them, if they, unless they attack us before we attack them of course. Um, 
Right, we need to repair these guys. Could watch the Swedish Navy. Okay, so we stopped. I don't think there is anything more around here to actually come in, so we're just going to afford to move that ship into, into the Navy. Right, so we've got Christiana to knock out. We've also got here. So let's start besieging. Who's got the artillery? Right, okay. So we really need really good elite guards to go over the walls. Because this is going to be a fortress, as you can see. They've got some fortress. Um, I like this, actually. I like this army already, to be honest. Um, the other thing I would say is, do we need the Dragoon Guards? Would it be better to take some... I think, personally, we can probably do without... We can do without the Light Dragoons, I'm pretty certain. Ah, that's stupid. <laughs> so if we move, we end up with them. Um... Right, so if we go like this... We can't get intercepted, can we? Um, yeah, so this will be the Assault Force him in there. Okay. And of course we've still got these guys to back us up anyway, so let's, let's throw this force at them. Do you want to wait four turns? Let's continue the siege for the moment. Um, Yeah, one way to do this is to continue the siege. Um, I don't think they'll come out straight away. I think go up here and take out Christiana. I think there's probably a load of troops up here, but they'll be fairly poor quality. Um, I need an army to go up and attack that, though. That's probably the army in in here that we need to use come out that cause public order problems it does and we're exempt there so we need to maybe leave this guy um, to three One more, I think. Okay, let's go to here. We're looking for, um, gosh, there's a Danish agent there. Can we destroy him? I don't think we've got anything around that can attack him. Um, okay, so we can put these guys into here. What we're doing is putting together an army that can destroy them. Christiana. Probably need a general. Can we stick... If we take him out... Well, they're not replenishing anyway, so we'll do that next turn, I think. Uh, okay, so... And then they'll go and board a ship, one of these ships here. And take out Christiana, and we'll just besiege this for the moment, I think. Um, okay. Right. Hmm. I think we're done. So we've got three stacks here to take out these two cities, and hopefully we'll have these guys moving down. Building some troops there. Can we build some troops here? Yeah, we don't get any experience, do we, there? That's unfortunate. So I think what I'm going to do, I'll just leave it here and we'll just build our troops in Berlin. Something down here. Got a navy there. A navy there. 
yeah, we pretty much own all the um, trading positions now. Um, we took the main reason for attacking um, the Danes was to take over their trade. Um, nothing personal. It was, it was literally that. That was the only reason for doing it. And we need to start moving fairly forward now to to maybe yeah some Austrian stuff here. We need to now maybe we'll stay in port and then we can we can counter attack if they attack us. We've got pretty good. Um, fleets here. That's quite a balanced fleet. So is that one. That's fine. Okay, so I think we'll end our turn. I was saying that, we can actually do quite a lot of upgrading, can't we? Just have a look. What's this? Sonic Lodge, what does that do? Happiness, all classes. Yeah, let's go for that. We're now in a position where our borders are pretty secure. Uh, yeah, because we're garrisoning in that, so that's fine. Factory, that can be a useful thing to have. Logging camp, yes. Have a look at our science side of things in a moment. Let's quickly try and whiz through this. Okay. I need the manufacturing the equestrian estates so I'm not bothering to upgrade because we're not actually recruiting troops in those areas. No, we don't need supply warehouse there. Or there. Um, yeah, why not? Okay, and I think we're kind of kind of back. Right, let's have a look at our objectives. We need to get another twenty two regions. That's that's a lot actually. That is a lot. We'll have to certainly have to take out all of Italy and maybe Sweden next, I think, unless we get Austria and Russia attacking us. That's my aim, to knock out the smaller powers, build up our strength, and then strategically it makes sense to cover this, this area here, down here, and this area here, and then move forwards. Um, okay, let's, I think we're going to end our turn. And we'll see what the Russians do. Not much, I wouldn't think. They've got one territory left. Yeah, the Austrians are fighting the Turks at the moment, so maybe that'll keep them amused for a while. There is a land bridge into Hungary from um, Poland, so we can get down there towards Budapest and destroy that. Well, got three stacks there. We may need to beef up our border a little bit. Defend um, Poland a bit more, I think. I wish the Brittany would actually um, be more effective in attacking. That wasn't much use. I suppose it's weakening the, the Austrians, but um, not doing us very much good. Okay, another spy in Poland. We maybe need to send that down here to see what's happening down here. Wow, a whole stack. Yeah, we definitely need to do a bit of defensive work here I think. Once we've destroyed the Danes then obviously we can move units around. Okay let's 
see, that's okay. We can move down here. Okay, still repairing here. So if we go to here, we can still replenish. Yeah, still replenishing here. So we can't quite push on yet into. I don't think that's really enough to actually to take them on, to be honest. Hmm. Oh, I think we can maybe push ahead and go for it. Okay, these guys are doing a good job in the sense that they're actually keeping the Austrians in, in position here. That's fine. Oh, we got rebels. Oh my god. Oh dear, that's going to cause us a problem. Right. Should look at that more closely, actually. Oh, saying that, we're actually still we exempted that. It's probably because I moved the troops into here, I think. Right, let's get these guys on board. I think we can afford to move them out, keep on with our plan. He's got a load of troops there, but I'm sure we can, can deal with them. Okay, and what have we got here? Need to get Nelson here, I think. What are we doing here? I think this guy's moving around, isn't he? Yeah. Just covering our port so we don't get... Um, Problems. Let's move Nelson up to here. And where are we going to put this guy? Yeah, we've only got three ports that are actually trading, to be honest, which is weird. I wonder why this port isn't working, or this one. drive dock. Um, okay, well, we need to move that ship round to here. Right. Gosh, they're still actually replenishing here. three turns to go there and still three turns to go there actually which is not good okay so like here can't really remove this. I really need it here anyway to ask for strategic reasons to keep the Italians honest so they don't come and attack us. Um, just wondering what to do with these guys. Um, I'm going to move them north. By here, so you can keep an eye on what's going on. In Vienna. Okay. These guys are replenishing. We've got Wellington there. These guys are replenishing. Yeah, I think we definitely need to move these these three armies down to here and take this out. 
they will get in position to attack these these areas once we've done some um, research and some spying and then we'll maybe attack the Italians and that'll bring the the Austrians in I think they're still allied with them I believe yes so we can we can drag the Austrians into a war that they won't want with us um, okay right so I think we're ready to attack here three turns till surrender this army needs to move to where does it need to move to be aware here these are quite big stacks of three of them no two of them actually okay hmm we're going to have to move this guy down to here. Hmm. We do have a lot of allied. If these actually take part in the battle, well, they're only militia. We should be fine. So they're going to they're going to head for here, aren't they? This city here. So we need to. This is the city we need to re, um, reinforce. Okay. Uh, much in the way of artillery. Don't think they have any, do they? Well, they have some. One, two, probably three, four, maybe. The rest are Jaeger. So it's really a question of skirmishing them, I think. What we're going to do is try and do things this way. Mm, that's a shame, you don't really want to use that, that unit for uh, got a lot of experience, so I'll put that in there so you can replenish. And even that unit, to be honest. Chasseurs Botanique. Grenadiers. Okay. Right, what we're looking to do is to get guys have got very good experience. Well, I wish I'd taken more notice of that revolt thing. It's, it's just a pain this. I'm sure we'll defeat them, but it's just an absolute pain. Okay, I think this is fine. I don't think we're going to get any problems. Let's recruit some more infantry. Okay. So hopefully these guys will help us. In fact, what we may try is this. Okay, so we'll be fighting this in the next um, the next episode. It'll be interesting in the sense that we actually have more troops than them. Um, we only have militia. It's eight five minus three, so they're liable to run away at any light cavalry. Fifteen seven one, so the morale is terrible. I think it might be a question of auto resolving this. I think we are going to auto resolve it now. Victory is ours. Onwards. You are humble, sir. Okay, so we need to retreat from that. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, we're able to use these guys um, fairly effectively to put a dint in this guy in this army, which is good. And um, we've still got this army here. Um, I'm still tempted to simply let that go for another turn. Let's do. Let's just have a look and see what we've got here. All right, let's move Nelson into this arm, into this fleet, and Corvette can go. That can go. 
I can go. I can go. I bring these guys in. Um, bring that over there. This in here. Okay, that's a nice strong fleet. We're actually going to, just in case the Swedes attack us, I think we're going to move up here. Can we get an Admiral here? Let's have a look. Let's go for this guy. Not. There we go. Okay, so we've got another Admiral here. 73, that's not a good idea. <laughs> he may last four or five years to the end of the game. Hopefully he will. Um, we're going to use um, George Dryberg to attack here. I think probably. Uh, he's got a mixture of militia and line infantry. Yeah, so we should be able to do this with this army. Um, what we can probably do... Is this... So we can come up here next turn. Okay, let's force these guys out and take their fleet away from them. Okay, so there's not much to worry about, is there, to be honest. Okay, we'll fight this in the next episode. It'll be the first battle that we'll be fighting. We definitely will fight this because there's no way that we want to um, lose capturing these ships. Certainly these four ships will be very handy to have. They can build up this fleet that's off the coast of uh, Oslo. And then we'll have two major fleets ready to attack the Swedes and the... Russians. So they look as if they've had quite a lot of power. Okay, thanks for your time watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. I'll be speaking to you soon. Bye bye for now.